guys, DJ Evans Fishing here, and we are going to go over today uh, the Albright Night. Uh, Albright Knot. Okay. Uh, Braid to Floro. Um, I'm going to go over it with, um, yeah, I'm going over it with my spinning rod. So we'll be tying like 10 pound braid to a 6 pound uh, leader. I do something a little different with my knot, and I'll show you guys um, what I do. Um, I think it makes it a little faster, makes the knot a little thinner. Uh, I've been doing this for whew, since I started tying braid, um, and I actually did it by accident. Um, when you tie the Albright knot and you make your loop and you go the basic knot, you're making a loop in your leader, you're putting your braid through, and then you're coming down it, most people, about six times. Then what you're doing is you're taking that, that tag in, you're coming back up um, six times and then back through your line you're pulling it tight well I find that that makes the knot thicker and I have less line hanging on to the fluorocarbon so I do mine a little different I'll go down in this case six pound to like ten pound uh, main line say twelve times at least twelve maybe fifteen times okay I don't go back up I bring that line back through I pull it tight then what I end up with is a longer knot, but thinner knot, okay? And I haven't had any problems with it breaking, ever. I've never broken at the knot, pulled up and set on a hook, and that knot came undone, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you guys it really quick. I'm going to stop the video for a second. We're going to get down on this black top that I have here, this black piece of plastic. It just shows it a little better. Um, and then we're going to go from there. So let me uh, take a second and we'll get all set up. Back. All right, here's what we got. Here's our six pound fluorocarbon leader. We make our knot. Okay. Here's our braid on the main line. You can see we're going to, here's the knot. We'll go through the knot. Up here, I pinch the knot right here. Okay. I pull that through. You don't need a ton of extra line. I don't know. That's what, maybe 10 inches, maybe. Okay. Wrap it. I'm going to wrap this thing 12 times. Okay. Around, around both lines. Sorry, guys. So hard to do while trying to hold it in one spot here. Okay. 12 wraps. Usually about now you'd be at about six. And normally most guys would go back up. I don't. Keep going. I'm doing 12 minimum of 12 wraps on lighter line as you get heavier lines you don't have to wrap as many times but you still want to go 10 times okay so there's my loop up at the top here's my tag end of my main line key is whichever way you went in i went in this way so i put the line in when i was starting out i went like this it's taking that tag end and you're going back through the way you came in Okay, I came in this way. I'm coming back out that way the line came in. Okay, then you're grabbing both ends, wetting it down. All right, and then, and of course, I messed it up. Well, now it's still okay. And then I'm pulling it tight. Both, I'm pulling both lines on the tag, both on the main line, tightening it up there. Okay, then what I'm going to do. Just grab just the main lines, my leader and my main line, leave the tag ends out, and then I pull that a little tight, okay? All right, that, that cinches it down. Next key to this knot is cutting this fluorocarbon as close to that knot as possible. If you don't, that tag end is gonna stick out just a, just a touch, and every time you go to cast that tag end that's sticking out is going to catch on your other lines and it's going to be a pain for you all day so there you go so that's what i've got there's my line right look how thin that is okay another key with this is you're always wrapping your braid around the fluoro okay I want that braid protecting my fluoro. So as it goes through the guides and stuff, it's hitting on the braid. It's not hitting on my fluorocarbon, okay? 
I've seen guys wrap the fluorocarbon around and it works. I'm not saying it doesn't, but you now have your fluorocarbon, which is obviously gonna be a lot weaker than this braided line, okay? That's it, way thinner. There's no FG knot that's thinner than that right there, okay? And this is strong, it will not break. Um, if it breaks at the knot, it's wedged so far into a tree or something, you're not getting it off and you're just pulling it to break it anyways, okay? And sometimes it'll break up here if you got a nick, but you're not breaking that on a spinning rod, throwing a drop shot uh, with your drag and the action of the rod going, uh, you're not breaking that knot. So that's a quick, easy way I can tie this knot in seconds. And it's, again, we'll go over it real quick. Knot, here's my leader, you make a loop, braid goes through, down 12 times at least. Six pound test, I'm going at least 12, okay? And then back through the loop, this the way, if you came in this way, that's the way you want your line going out. You don't wanna come back around like that. If it came in this way, you're going out that way. Pull it tight, both tag ends, both with both things, then let go of your tag ends and give it a little snug down, okay? That braid is digging into that fluoro, and that's what you've got, guys. Quick and easy, all bright. This will not break on you guys. Uh, give it a shot. I've got some buddies doing it, and it's just such a quick, strong knot. It ain't going anywhere. And like I said, I kind of came upon it by being lazy, quite frankly, rather than going back up. And then when I did do that, you've got to make sure it's laying in between each crack. And then I didn't like the thickness. So I did this. I've been, dude, I've been throwing this for... 20 years now, okay? And this works just fine. So guys, that's the deal. The Albright knot, improved, changed, whatever you wanna call it, little different than some people tie, but that's the way I tie it. Check it out, guys. Like, subscribe, go to my YouTube channel, all my social media, everything is DJ Evans Fishing, and check it out. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you later with some more tips.